Barron. Trump's selection as a delegate for the Republican National Convention is a sign of his family's strengthening grip within the GOP. Insiders close to the Trump team say that the towering teen, 18, could be a significant player in Republican circles in years to come. Barron, who will graduate high school in days, has been named an at-large delegate for the Florida GOP ahead of the party's convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Trump's adult children, Eric, Donald Jr., and Tiffany, have also been named delegates for Florida. The convention, which takes place in July, will see Donald Trump crowned as the GOP's nomination for the presidential election. It's not clear what path Barron will pursue when he graduates high school, but sources close to the Trump team have told the U.S. Sun that it could be in politics. The world is Barron's oyster, an insider revealed. He can be a major Republican player in the years to come if he so chooses. He's just 18. He still has time to figure out the path he wants to take in life. A Trump official told Politico that Barron is very interested in the political process. Meanwhile, David Richards, from the University of Lynchburg, believes Barron's selection is a sign of the Trump family's strengthening grip on the GOP. This looks like just another example of how the extended Trump family has taken up roost in the GOP, he said. This is part of the increasing role the Trumps play in the GOP. Trump likes to keep his family close and involved. But he was cautious not to overplay the significance of Barron's selection. In the bigger scope of things, this does not mean much. There will be 2,429 delegates there, so any one individual is not that big a deal. Members of the Trump family hold high-profile roles within the GOP. Lara Trump, who is married to Eric, is one of the co-chairs of the Republican National Committee. Barron, Donald Jr., Eric, and Tiffany will make up four of Florida's 41 at-large delegates. Florida was once considered a battleground state in the race for the presidency, but current polls suggest Trump has a clear lead over Biden in the Sunshine State. Barron's selection comes just days before he's set to graduate from Oxbridge Academy in West Palm Beach. He turned 18 just a day after the Florida GOP primary was held, meaning he couldn't vote for his dad. Barron's family has been conscious to keep him out of the limelight since Trump left the White House in 2021. He has not yet been seen on the campaign trail, but he was snapped at the funeral of Melania Trump's mom, Amalia Navs. He was seen towering over Trump as they headed into the church for the service. Melania and Barron are known for their close relationship, and she has reportedly been helping him on his plans post-graduation. Sources previously told people that Melania is a doting mom and is protective of her son. Melania's friends are her family members, one said, she has always surrounded herself with family. She is a doting mother to Baron and very protective of him. This is nothing new. Melania has gushed over her son's independence and loves that he's opinionated. Reports emerged last month that Baron could continue his studies at New York University. If he returns to the Empire State, his place of study could be just miles from Trump Tower. Baron lived in New York for the first 11 years of his life. NYU chiefs didn't respond to requests for comments when approached by the U.S. Sun. Barron's selection as a delegate comes as Trump juggles court dates with rallies and campaign stops ahead of November's election. Trump has been in court for a trial where he's accused of falsifying business documents in a bid to cover up hush money payments. Trump vehemently denies the allegations that have been leveled against him, but the case is just one of four criminal indictments. Trump has been indicted for his alleged role in the January 6, 2021, insurrection and has been accused of storing classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago resort.